Welcome back to Good Moms, Bad Choices. I'm Erica. And I'm Mila. And niggas are loud as fuck. You cannot be moving <laughs> the microphone that high. Like. <laughs> they gave me drugs. Jesus, I'm sorry, yeah. Not they gave me drugs. <laughs> they gave me drugs, man. Just stop, yeah, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? Just stop. No, no. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. The phone confused me. My fault. Welcome to Good Moms, Bad Choices. Mm, We're just yeah. going to get straight into it. Look, look, <laughs> look. I've never seen someone so aggressively so put on Carmack. He's so high right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We, sh- we should have learned from before not to get our, our guests high. Oh, God. Because then, then they get Don't mad Don't be at trying us. to delete the episode later. Like that other guest. Because guess what? We're it's not, not gonna happening. Do it. We're not doing it. We're anyway, here. guys, we're here yeah. in New York City. We have guests, obviously. Um, we're not gonna do our normal intro, which is like giving my like A type Scorpio ass anxiety, but it's fine. We're just gonna go with it. Um, we have some special guests. You Nigga, got, what are you doing? You gotta stop, stop moving. moving. <laughs> just just sit down. Yeah, yeah, just stop moving. Oh, oh, you can't. You can't. He can't hear it. He I keeps gripping. He noise. keeps gripping this mic like he's about to start a rap battle. I keep been watching him like. <laughs> Hey, yo, nah, my fault. I ain't hear that, my fault. Well, at least he can't hear it in the headphones, so it means we're good. Um, so why don't y'all introduce yourself? <laughs> All right, we will. What's going Absolutely. on? I'm, uh, I'm Lair. I'm Lionel. And uh, this is Late Night with... Lair. And Lionel. Yeah. I want to know how many times you guys practice that intro. <laughs> Actually, no, my name is Lair. And totally I'm, do I'm that a lot. So you're just, just confusing just everybody? Why are you? They can't even yeah. see you. Please go watch I'm us sorry. on YouTube. I'm Men sorry, yeah. make no sense. That's how we make them do it, though. This you make them proof. listen first, so that way they go, go watch. and watch it. But if you're introducing yourselves wrong, how the fuck are they supposed to identify which voice is which voice if That's all fine. they have is the audio? Big fun time. Because you know, life is a mystery sometimes. You just got to roll with the punches. Okay, well, guys, that was Lionel. Yeah, that's me. I'm Lionel. And I'm Jamal. That's what? not Jamal. <laughs> Actually, come on. That's Lil. This is right Steve, Stop. y'all. <laughs> Stop this, fucking with This is fucking that. Steven. Yeah, there you go. Stop. Yeah, that's also known Steven. as Lair. <laughs> this government name is Stephen Lair. No. <laughs> Stephen yeah, Lair might not even be real. I it's don't not. Know. No, that's, it's, a, that's the three last letters. Decide. Oh, the last letters? You really are a nerd. Because <clears> he got it from Wu Tang. Wu Tang hip hop producer or whatever. No, it's an automated name generator. Name generator. I was on my rep shit. Wait, what is my name generator? Yeah, go look her that. Okay. Is that still a site? It has to be. They it's probably have millions because I heard it's of it. What is it? A Wu Tang Wu Tang name generator. Wu Tang name, name generator. generator. <laughs> if you're listening, have you to ever this... ever wished you had a different name than the money that you had? I've really, I feel like I've really monopolized on the one name I have. Like, oh my I, god, name generator, and then I put my name. It says Wu Me. What's mine? mine? Is Twinkly Educator. Mine is Phantom Judge. Oh, what? I'm Phantom, a Phantom Judge. Phantom Judge. Okay, uh, put your name. Huh. You put your name. You'll be here, a rapper I got you too. right here. Look, I don't want to be Jamila. Here. She is amazing cavalier. Oh, shout out to amazing cavalier. Oh. Yo, what's up? This amazing cavalier. <laughs> and this is Phantom Judge. I'm about to go head to head, <laughs> bitch. Is you ready? Are you ready, bitch? I was born ready. <laughs> what's my name again? Phantom Cavalier. <laughs> Wait, Phantom not, not Phantom. Yeah. Cavalier. Lana, what's yours? Amazing, amazing Phantom. Nothing. Amazing Cavalier. This is amazing Cavalier. I think I like that. I have to use that. Okay, well. Amazing Cavalier. We're high, you guys. Yeah, not me. High. Y'all are. So Lair is very high. Lair is very high. You know, the only person high. not high is Lionel. Yeah. I'm First of all, I'm the twinkly high. adjudicator, adjudicator. So I'm here. Not only are we high, but we're drinking yeah. and we haven't eaten. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, guys, if you're tuning in, <laughs> make sure you check this out on YouTube to make it all make sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and even that, it still might not. So <laughs> let me let, let me give you guys full context. We already had a conversation. We already did their podcast. So if you're listening, go check out our episode on late night late nights with Lear and late Lionel. Night, yeah. And yeah, what happened was up. we came with eating no food. They brought tequila. We took it because we love tequila. And yeah. it's daytime. Yeah. And now it's the second hour. And now we're high and we're drunk. And yeah. so here we are. Hello. <sighs> What's up? Hi. What's up, guys? Okay. I'm glad that you've established okay, that. Yeah. I feel a lot more yeah. grounded now. Thank you. I do. <laughs> now that people know, you can feel comfortable, you can relax. So we're in New York right now. Me and Mila are in uh, our homegirl. Shout out to Mandy, Full Court Pump Studios. Wait, Full Court Studios in Brooklyn. And, you know, we hit up Lair and Lionel because, you know, we were like, we've been watching y'all on the internet for a while. We're like, who are these niggas? You know, we, yeah. love, we talk about sex all the time. Yeah. And we love a curated, we love a curated Instagram. She was. She, Mila was really impressed with your, um, your on-screen fonts. text. 
So I said to Erica, yeah. like, look at their fonts. This is great. I really like their fonts. <laughs> this Good is fonts. A, you know? Sexy fonts. And I appreciate that because most men wouldn't put in such detail to design. But you guys told me that was your background, right? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Well, like, tell us more about yourselves because, like, we got right into it on your podcast. Yeah. Like, straight, yeah. straight hitter. Straight yeah. so, into the size of penises. So yes. I just want to know sizes. a little bit about you because that's how women do. We get to know our people first before we just go straight for the kill. Nice. Yeah. Right. So tell us. Period. Tell us how you met. Tell us how your podcast came to be. <laughs> how old are you? What's your sign? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we. Uh, I'm 29. My sign, I am a Taurus. Oh, like my child. Oh, his birthday is 420. April like my 20th. Baby. Yeah, oh, my birthday is 420 day. and I don't smoke, right? At all, ever? I've smoked before. Once a year, probably. Well, yeah, I, I stopped smoking right when they started, like, giving, like, weed aggressive names. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Like, so that's like, why you stopped? Like, Gorilla Glue? Like, like Gorilla Glue, Kush, yeah. Tickler, yeah. all of that shit. Yeah. I'm like, all right. What is, what's your beef with, with weed? It was just weed when I was smoking it. Now it's like... So he we, thinks it's too aggressive. So if we rebranded it to weed, would you smoke? Yeah, well, okay. they don't name weed weed no more. If no, I don't. It. Oh my it's god, we should weird. just there should just be a strain called weed. Why yeah. is there no strain there called weed? There used to be a weed called weed. Do you want to get super high, kind of high, a little high, or, and that should be it? I keep hearing something in here. What do you hear? Me? I heard it, but I think I heard it from you. No, it's like the fourth oh, like, time. It's like it's like do 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 do. Yes, he knows we're high. He's fucking with us. No, there, well, there's a little thing. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They um, hear it. yeah. It's like speaker. There's oh. dad grass, which is supposed to be like for the old time weed. It's the yeah, CBD-G-G. I like that. That's, that's some Reggie CBG probably. Yeah. yeah um, always <laughs> what do you want to know? Like what, when people okay, ask so me to Taurus, tell me about. Okay, so you're You're 29. You guys are both from Philly. Yes. Are you guys childhood friends? How'd you meet? Um, we met, we knew, we, we knew of each other in high school. We went to the same high school. He went, he was a year above me. <laughs> we just told the story last week. You're going to tell a lot. We're going <laughs> yeah, to tell it again. We're going to tell it again. We're going to tell it again. Um, we, we knew each other from high school. Um, we didn't really meet each other till like maybe 2018 when I had a podcast and he was, he had a rap career fail one and don't say it fell because it's very you never successful know it's gonna you're here it's you know gonna what? pop I'm, back up i'm impressed that you've said that out loud brother i'm a, i'm, I'm self-aware are, yeah. that's true yeah. because most of the rappers who want to be rappers will never just say like fuck that it didn't work out for me i'm gonna do something different <laughs> you know like I don't yeah. know I did, but <laughs> y'all, ha- y'all ever had to support a rapper before Oh, have we? My baby daddy's a rapper. Oh, yeah. you gave a baby. Not the excitement. It. A good one. <laughs> Whoa, you probably heard of him. Uh, What's his name? No, don't say it. Oh, here. I don't she know. Probably don't want to. Right? Everybody knows, but I, I'll tell you later. All right, damn. Cool. Now, now, ain't, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm, it's now so I'm many rappers. About it. Think That's about a fact. it. It's so many rappers. He, he's from Gary, Indiana. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's only one that I know. It's only one. Michael bro. Jackson. No, it's yep. Michael. How'd you know? Good oh, enough. Her baby daddy's Michael. Yes. Don't tell baby me. daddy's Michael. <laughs> Gary and Anna is disgusting. Right. Or it could have been Jermaine. Okay. No. Right. Or Randy. You know who I'm thinking about? Who? <laughs> Jermaine Jackson yeah. is crazy. Shut the fuck up, Nick. Right. <laughs> you bitch. <clears throat> anyway. So. Oh my god. I had a podcast. He came on it a bunch of times, and then my sister was like, "Maybe y'all should do something here." Cause y'all got good chemistry. Like, are smart. Right, what were you doing? You were talking by yourself. Oh, the, in the other one, mm-hmm. it was like a lot of like, oh, pop culture. How do you feel about what? I don't know. Would you, would you have guests or was it just you? Yeah, okay. we, we, it was me, my friend Mike, and my sister, and um, they didn't really care about it, but I did a lot. <laughs> And that your sister's like I'm not gonna do this shit with you every week but hey he seems lit- like he likes it <laughs> lit- literally no like literally yeah. she was like let's do it once a month I'm like what the <laughs> fuck so um, she told me about maybe you should do one with Larry I'm like that's my guy we should do something and then it was birthed so why why sex uh, that wasn't it <laughs> that wasn't the, that wasn't the premise we ain't we didn't make a sex podcast. <laughs> we just do you consider, do you consider to, your podcast a sex? podcast? We call it like a. We ch- you when you earlier you mentioned like something like breaking taboo about sex. Like we, it's like a, it's like a sex safe space podcast. It is now, but that, what you saying like when we started it, we was talking about sex, but yeah. we was just. But, but, but it kind of the conversation just uh, naturally gravitated towards yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, that makes and, sense. And um, it started like blowing up on TikTok. It, for me I'm personally, shocked. you can say how because TikTok is so fucking regulated. Right. How the fuck? Well, we we got it right when it was in the like, wild, wild west. When it was fun, we got TikTok in 2020. We like, we got it when it was fun too, and then we got it canceled. We got it too at the oh, end. Yeah. Yeah. It's dry now. Yeah, it's, it's we bad had a now. good ass oh, following, and then it got deleted. Yeah, it's bad now. Yeah, it's it's, it's totally bad now. But um, but shout we, out to TikTok for us. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, for real. So we popped on there, and um, at the time I was in a relationship, 
and TikTok popped, and I was like, I don't want to be in a relationship no more. <laughs> because because Wait, of TikTok, you got TikTok famous, famous and broke up with absolutely. your girl. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I got Wait, it, it, it transferred from TikTok to Instagram, and I was like, Can we dive into I want to be a whore a little bit. Okay, so you're like, I think I'm famous now, so it's you're just you're not, holding me back. You're kind, holding me. kind of a little bit. <laughs> was she holding me back? Was she like, you need to chill out? She, uh, she just recently hit me up and was just like, um, I don't like the way that we like broke up. Like you, da da da. Like you hurt my feelings a little bit, and I was like. I'm famous. I understand. Bitch. She was like, "You were my safe space. I used to come to you and talk." And I was like, "Man, I'm famous that? now. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not ill. Don't it's ill to me. That, that's 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 just true. Why should be honest? True. But so, yeah. the, what was your response? Sorry, TikTok. My response was like, "Yeah, I, but I'm well, TikTok famous, bitch." <laughs> yeah, my yes, a little bit. That's I was, Ill, I, was I was more so just like, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Like, Do you I think that, was it that you didn't want to be in a relationship, or was like you don't think she could be happy for your new TikTok? What's the two words you use? I want to be a whore. No, you said, you said. No, it means that uh, he knew he no, was going to. TikTok popping. made him feel like he was going to get exposure to new pussy. And so he had to get rid of his everyday pussy so that he was available <laughs> to the new pussy. Is this a fact? A little bit. Did you feel like you, like you were like on a different level? And she Is it wasn't... true? Is what true? I mean, was the breakup worth it? Have you been, have, has new pussy been rolling in like you thought? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest. I mean, it was, it's fun. Like, it's, I've, I've, didn't expect, I've never did this. Yeah. I never had, you know I wasn't what? a whore before. I'm so pissed whore. that during my whole phase, I, like, none, I, I didn't get no extra hoes because of my podcasting. We've no. never gotten extra hoes. I didn't know hoes podcast. are rolling in. We get foot worshippers. <laughs> they be rolling oh, in. They like, want to pay y'all. White, sl- like, people don't want to be slaves. Yeah, yeah. That's wow. Yeah. In. Yeah, wow. so that happened. That's life. Wow, you're like <laughs> my DMs are not popping. I can't believe this at this all. Is crazy. Wow. No, I'm offended a little. Bit. <laughs> do, do people just send you? Do people send y'all like naked pictures, pussy, just fans and shit, girls? Yeah, because of the content that you not guys as talk much, about? but it does happen. It, it I think that women are attracted to men that uh, that express themselves sexually. That's what it, like freely. Women are attracted to men that express themselves. Yeah, and period. you're probably ta- talking about like you guys seem like intelligent, like logical men, and you know. And I feel like it's so rare. Yeah, We're talking about yeah. maturity, and like it takes a certain level of maturity to be like logical and. Bitches are like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM him and see what happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yeah. can understand that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want anybody to think that I'm like whatever but i do it is a thing so i don't want nobody to think that i'm like so, big-headed or like oh no i mean i appreciate <laughs> your honesty i appreciate your honesty Thank it's you. like a lot of niggas would be like hey this one plus one equals that's, two that's and very the, honest that's, and the that's fact that's that you told honest. her that you told her that right uh, i just told her i didn't want to be in a relationship <laughs> that was actually the better route that was actually a better route because <laughs> well, now she knows and everybody does and everybody else yeah. so i don't know if that was a better route you know listen <laughs> sometimes we make selfish decisions and the best decision is not to Bring somebody down your selfish You got to ease them into the reality of what it actually is. Sometimes you can't just, well, you can, but you, sometimes it's harder to just go in and be like, hey, I'm TikTok famous now, so we have to break up. <laughs> well, you know what Versus, is- hey, I just want to do this. Honest, and then eventually, though. as you start listening to my TikToks, you'll eventually find out that the reason I broke up with you is because I'm getting more pussy. You yeah. know what? But I think this is a prime lesson in like, I think people, um, avoid saying brutal honesty because like god this is a really shallow decision on my end and sometimes like you you gotta just admit you just gotta like i'm shallow today like (laughs) i don't care i don't give a fuck i don't know like i don't want to be with you like i don't need a big reason yeah i know the dick's not good enough like it's just like it doesn't it seems (laughs) it seems rude but it's just the truth Truth, and sometimes you have to honor it even if it's not nice because sometimes your feelings are not nice Mm. and you got to listen to that you got you're not going to be able to cater to everybody's feelings but you do however have to cater to yours and sometimes you're shallow and that's fine Yeah, yeah i agree that's the name of the episode Sometimes, sometimes you're shallow. You're shallow. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you're shallow. That's fine. But, and that's fine and little. Let me write that to Orlando. Sometimes you're shallow or feelings are not nice. <laughs> I like both those titles. Um, wow. Yeah. I, don't, I was going to ask you something based off of that. but then, Oh, yes. This is my question. So on, on your episode with us, we were talking about fucking fans. So because, you're, because you got started, you know, blowing up on TikTok and women <laughs> started to, you know, notice you guys more. Have you fucked a lot of your fans? Yes. Okay. That was an honest guy. He's an honest guy. I yeah. like the honesty. <laughs> it, but I'm slowing answer? down. <laughs> He's honest enough for the both of us. I'm slowing right? down. I'm slowing down. Why? Is there, is uh, it something because I'm starting or? to realize that every single <laughs> guest that we have that are podcasters, they come on and we ask them that question and then they say no. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with me then? So this Look, is me man. trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me. So maybe I need to stop. You so and Orlando have plenty in common after this. <laughs> 
Yeah. Because he's all, listen, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> What, what Biggie said? Who said that? What? Damn right I fuck fans. That's not for me. A rapper said that. Who said that? That is you. That's not my one. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Who's, no, that's that Biggie? Me. No, that was that's me. Biggie. <laughs> that's Biggie. That's Biggie. That's that no, no, no. That was me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, I need to slow down on that. Because it's not fun. I'm starting oh to realize when you go out on dates with them, they, they see you as this person. You're a piece of meat. All right. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, no, they just see me as a person that's this. And I'm like, can we just... Well, they, just think, oh, they think they know yeah. you. They like idolize yeah. you. Like, yeah, yeah. They they like. Oh, I can't like. We're like sitting down and eating, and they're like, I can't believe I'm with. Yo, I hate that bar. And oh I hate. God. I just don't like get it. The dicks, get the dick soft. You kind of like it because you'd been doing this a lot. You said because the, uh, the first at time first it was cool. The at first time, time I'm like, yeah, yeah. Now you're like, hey, weird. bitch, can we just talk a regular? I had yeah. a bad day at work. Huh? I gotta tell you. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like feelings. Y'all 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 haven't like ink. Well, okay. Yeah, true. Y'all, y'all said that. I, oh, wait, wait. I told you that once I had I had sex with a fan. Um, not a fan. I don't like that word. Listener. There we go. And because for shallow reasons. And then before we did it, I could tell he was like shaking a little bit. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He said, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. And then in my past life, actually before I was had any type of online, public, anything, if I could tell someone was really in awe of me, it would turn me on. I would be like, I'm, I'm going to take you down. But now I don't think that's like... Well, you want them to be in awe of other things, not like this perspective of this, 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 I guess, access people have to you and somehow that makes them feel like... They're they have, special because they have access to you. Also, like just hearing you guys' feedback is just like being a woman. And we're not even a sex podcast per se. But like being a woman and talking about sex and being men and talking about sex, the perks are so different. What the fuck? <laughs> who got more yeah. perks? If I didn't find this nigga who talked about sex, I would be for the streets. Like, <laughs> like, I'm, like All the comments are like, these fucking, these, they, their baby daddies didn't want them and that's why they're here. I'm like, Jesus <laughs> no, Christ. No, we get, we get, we get bad comments. Yeah, like one out of a hundred. Yeah. yeah. And, and you usually obviously are like, getting mad <laughs> pussy in the DMs. The men are not in my DMs. Like, you are so intelligent and open minded. Yeah, I didn't really get any dick <laughs> because of the podcast. This has definitely repelled some dick. It's definitely repelled. So we, we get bad comments. They're usually like, go work out. Like fatties. That's what you got from this? That's what I got from this? When men talk about sex, women want to know what their sex is like. Because if they're talking about their sex, I know as a woman, that, if I'm hearing true. like a man talk about his sex, like how much he likes eating pussy, like, I'm gonna oh, do be like, you. Hmm, you said, "Do you for real?" Mm. Like, even if I'm not really attracted to you, I might yeah. start to consider like even the because I'm a visual person. Like, what does that look like? Women like minds, yeah. And like when you're an open mind and you're literally in someone's ear, they're at work all day with you. There, there could and you know there, there's an attraction that could happen, especially if they're listening to your podcast. I think women have a the ability to get like attracted to certain aspects of people, especially like in person personalities just regular smart guys because most of them are a little slow and immature and then we can become like confused like hmm let me try that out and it's like no bitch you just think they're a smart person mm -hmm. you know like it's just like a part of our sensuality is like you have to I feel like that part of me has evolved as I've gotten to be a woman like Huh, Where like, niggas don't want to hear bitches talk. <laughs> no, they don't. They're like, shut the fuck up and bend over. That's a fact. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's really what it is. That oh is. my god, like, we just figured it out. Is that the is that the other title? That's like men don't want to hear women talk. <laughs> no, I, I want to hear women talk. talk. I want to hear women talk. No, no, it's not no. when you guys say stuff. No, no, no. Say talk, talk some more. Oh how big of a dick do you like? Uh, <laughs> how big no. is the dick that you like? <laughs> Nine inches, medium, huh? That is crazy. <laughs> no, I like, I like they hearing. Love when they talk. I like having. I like having conversation with whoever. Are I'm you with. a pansexual? Is it? Like, is it? A pansexual is someone who is aroused by the mind. Oh, no, I thought a, that was Sophie. No, that's just Sophie. Oh no, wait, sorry, I got mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't I was that. Like, wait, hold on. It's <laughs> because I consider myself both. I got them mixed up, y'all. What's a pansexual? I think it's somebody a that don't have sex. Pansexual. Right? I actually, my boyfriend said pansexual this is a lie. Pansexual is like who loves everybody, right? A person who oh. likes people. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not romantically attracted to just all people, like genders, and like I, I, I realized I'm not on the spectrum so much as I thought I was. I thought I was just fluid, but there are things that I don't. I'm not attracted to. Yeah, I like when women are nice to me. I'm starting to realize that about myself. At first, I like when women like would be mean to me a little bit. Uh, like a little bit, like yeah, like smack me, choke me. 
mm. a little bit. But now I like it. I like a little bit of both. Like I like it when they're nice to me. Get but older also, like now. smack me. Twenty twenty nine now. Well, that, well, I, I'll tell you that, and maybe you can attest to this. I don't know how long you've been thirty, and I don't know if it's the same for men, but thirties, <clears> like thirty to thirty three, there's a <clears throat> like a a rapid evolution that happens and you're like certain shit you won't fuck with anymore you're like god that was immature let me grow out of that and then it really actually happens yeah, yeah you get it's vulnerable cool. i guess like at 20 I, yeah, I would say probably last year for me but like you do get a little more some shit you just let go like i'm not fucking with that like you mean you breathe through it like I'm not about to text that person back. Like, yeah, otherwise, bitch, I'm like, I don't care. Mm. especially when you're like, you're famous on TikTok, and <laughs> stop doing that, guys. <laughs> God, that was stop. crazy. Hey. God, that is crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Wait, wait, crazy. Remember when we knew that girl and we kept calling? <laughs> she, she was a TikTok star on the rise. <laughs> <laughs> But then she did crack. I know. Oh. She doesn't oh. do crack anymore, though. I saw her on Instagram. She's done with crack. She's back. Why would She's we... back to being a TikTok star on the rise. The truth is, so you know what? I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth, Lionel. Yeah. We're, I'm just hating because we lost our TikTok. We were almost TikTok stars <laughs> we on the rise. We did, too. We got it back. We were oh, TikTok yeah, we stars it. We got it on the rise. You have a contact? I wrote, a, I wrote an email. <laughs> he said I wrote no. an email. Can, can you give us the template? <laughs> I wrote it. I just was like, we've messaged TikTok so many times. They hate sexy black moms. He has an email template. I just told him. I said, we are a black podcast that influenced the whatever. I wrote an entire Wait, is thing. is it because they deleted your shit? Yeah, we you lost our their shit back. I, wrote, I wrote them a, a letter and they How long ago is this? Lionel, I think we need this you on the team. Long. This is a while ago. Yeah, and really. the, I think maybe they, they, they fired all humans. I don't know. I think there's just robots <laughs> This was a little while ago, but <laughs> they, they, they took it away no, from us and they gave it back to us. Okay, well, let me give you that template. We're going to get you your ticket. Thank you. We were devastated when I opened TikTok. I said, Go on your set emails and devastated. We had like over 100 that ten thousand followers. Now we have like now we have five hundred <laughs> TikTok. Literally, we, we started a new page though. After yeah, that. we started we a afraid. page too, and it doesn't. It's we got not, like it's not hitting three, like three, it used to. It's not hitting yeah. like it used to. Yeah, TikTok ain't the wave anyway though no more. To be honest, like I don't think so. I Facebook think it's still too. The wave. We on Facebook now. I think we're just we're yeah. not now at thirty, and yeah. we don't care about TikTok anymore. There's just, TikTok our Facebook, is still happening. Our Facebook been doing good numbers, and we only had it for like a month. We just, I just automate the post to go from Instagram to Facebook. We did too, but we don't do, I don't know. I and don't you would think, think moms on Facebook all over the clips. I think the moms on Facebook are a little more conservative. Yeah, they'd be but not I can see making that up because I don't yeah. really know what's going on Facebook since college. Yeah. Yeah, we just decided to like fuck, say fuck it, put up. Do you guys date outside your race? No, that was the question. They're from Philly. I wasn't well, expecting that. Well, well I'm gonna like say Dominicans. if he's a TikTok, he has like I'm sure a lot of different <laughs> bitches come from the internet, like not just black, beautiful black queens. Latinx. A little bit. So Latinx. Latinx. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that boy different, man. <laughs> Latinx. <laughs> That's <laughs> exclusive. I love it. That's it. I mean, yeah. I mean, but I, I have, I have that, that. Like that's it. I've had sex with one. Just one one Latinx. Dominican. Is that Latinx? That counts, right? <laughs> I'm so high. Everything is. Can so she say funny. nigga? She can say nigga, right? Uh, she did say it, and yeah. I was like. <laughs> I was a little afraid when she said it. I'm like, don't say that. I said, yo, I said, like, can you I say, say that? Just don't say that in front of my friends. I made a joke about it. I was like, I was like, you good? You good to say that? <laughs> She's like, you, she, if you let me, I guess I am. She kind of like laughed it off, and I was like, all right, that's a joke, I guess. <laughs> like, okay. You ever like? You didn't switch your foot down. I, I wanted to a little bit, but she just gave me, she just gave me some ass. Yeah, you gotta uh, let her say nigga a couple times. Too, I don't date. So I never dated nobody that's not black. Then let him move to LA <clears> for six months. What about shit. slept with someone that isn't black? I ain't never slept with nobody not black. So only black women. Do you have yeah. interest in going sleeping? Fuck no. I'm a little racist. <laughs> yeah. But wait a minute, because you did. You was talking about the white cut. You seen a little. No, I said. White I said. What'd you say? Go ahead. I said all women that have a fat ass got the same haircut. I, that don't mean I'll fuck them. <laughs> what kind of haircut was it? The shortcut. The short, the uh, the um, uh, when they the got the mixed kids cut, cut. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. The with the hoops, <laughs> yeah, they always got hoops, uh huh, yeah. and they wear the same color Little jeans, swoop jewel yeah. to the side, yeah, uh -huh, the swoop yeah. is always swoop. 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 and they always wear exactly their shirt with the arms cut out on the side. Like, oh my, the, there was the, a meme for a long time. What is the, what is the jeans like, light color? The, no, the dark, the dark blue jeans that go all the way up to the waist part. Oh, let me make the waist small, yeah, okay, so to like to accentuate the booty, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't fuck them though. That's that's you can say she had a fat ass, but you're not gonna take it as far as you got a fat ass, you got a fat ass, but I don't want to touch it. There's somebody out there that'll do it. What about you? No, I wouldn't, not white women. That far. You have I a long would. life to live, y'all. We do. We yeah. do. I don't want to have sex with white women, though. You said what? I don't want to. Why? I feel like it'd be a little corny. 
Was like, like, I feel like uh, it'd be corny. Uh, yeah, that, give me that, that overdone. Yeah, that like, moan is crazy. Like, I hate that moan. Y'all watch too much porn. She you think they're not like that? She did it. <laughs> is, it, a, is, it is, is that fair? Is that a tale? Like, do white women really go, oh. I heard white women getting fucked before. I was in college, so I heard it. So I went to, <laughs> I went to school in Vermont, so I, I heard it. Uh, one time I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> my, one, of my, one of my roommates used to clap. <laughs> You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, he used to clap these two big white bitches. Excuse me, these two big white women, mean, brother, right? Come on. And they brother. and they used to, the way they used to sound, and he used to come out the room all proud. I'm like, damn, bro, you, <laughs> yeah, you drawing, bro. Yeah, nah. Shout out to my man, bro. Reparations. You know, yeah. that's what, that's my only thing. Where, like, <laughs> black men are super proud about it. It's not like you should be proud if that's your bitch or whatever, but like, sometimes I feel like. I think it's a status symbol. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, she's a four, dude. A like, four. Yeah, I, yeah, like, she's I, disgusting. Why yeah. black? Right, but I think a lot of times, with unfortunately, because of you know Tell our her shit, history, yeah. there is an association with like whiteness and white women. That's like well, you, it goes back. It's it's it goes both ways though. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Black women look at the oh, same yeah, thing. Yeah, they black women at, don't. They, they look at. Black women who date white men look at it as, as uh, a status. Why do the as black well? women look at us though? Like like we did. Something I, I, wrong I think they feel like it's like fuck you. Like when yeah. they have like when they. Well, I guess it's, it goes both ways. But like when you've been treated a certain way by black men and you find a white man that treats you really good, then you yeah you feel. I think it's just yeah it's it's status slavery. Do y'all yeah, ever see? Quite literally. Do y'all ever see like a handsome black guy with like. And he might be like in the airport, and then you see like a white woman come and hug him, and you like a white six. You know what? It, it's always like a six. What the fuck? And, he, and I, that's what it's, and that's what I'm like. Because uh, you know they don't come in bad, bitch. <laughs> that is not in there. They come in basic. That's not in their genre, and they come in. They do not come in that. Like, yeah. What? You, you go in the Best Buy and try to order one there out of it. Let me get your bad white bitch. Bad bitch white like, woman. <laughs> sorry. We have mediocre. Yes. yes. Oh, wait, just have that's the top we have. They come, in, they come in what? They don't come in bad bitch. They don't. <laughs> they don't come in bad bitch. When you really see <laughs> that. <laughs> they come in basic. Why would you You going to make me get real racist here? I'm not. So let's, let's go. You are. You are. You, okay, let me tell you, you something. Are, Blair, you're at the right show. Because one thing we're going to do is Keep it real. And yeah, then the, the bad bitch, we got to come with the messy smell. Our audience knows, girl. Oh, yeah. Don't be mad if you're listening. You already know. The smell got a mess. Every, you know? every, every I'm six months were racist. They know that, though. <laughs> they just going to call me the N-word anyway. They don't even matter. You know that. every six months were racist again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even racist. It's just, it's just my opinion. We can't keep the facts black. away. This whole episode In is the about words being... In the of Sebastian, I cannot keep the facts away. It's only about us being shallowly honest. Because not a lot of people are going to do it. I'm just going to keep it real. Come on. And for as someone who is... Explore it outside of my race because the whites love me. Yeah. You know, you, you dibble, you dabble, and you have your preferences. And I, I really support black men only dating black women because it's a dying race, unfortunately, because self-hate is real. And yeah. every time I do see a smooth aide in the airport with a four. alarming four, <laughs> I always make it a point to make intense yeah. eye contact. Yeah. Like, remember. So you see me. What you see this beautiful here? black queen. They be looking at us like we gonna beat cuz up. You know, a black girl dating a white nigga, they give us that weird look. I'm like, you know you wrong. You guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys give black women bad dirty looks? I'll be like, do, disappointment. Do, do the white women look down? They like, I mean, the black women, they be well, looking down? you do down. it to the black men or you do it to the black women or you do it to both? I say black women be looking at me like, I, like they know they fucked up. Niggas don't really give a fuck. They no, got their white, they got they white women. They're proud. Men They're like, disgusting. this is my bitch. Yeah, if anything, care. they put their chest up. Like, <laughs> they yeah. do. That's my white woman. You feel me? I wonder how white men feel around black men when they're dating black Intimidated women. Intimidated because they black men are the most desirable men of all Absolutely. races. And that's a fact. Oh, boy. There's no way they don't feel a way. I've, I've literally been in a... It was you a, think they worry? Like, oh my God, she's going to remember. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to remember. <laughs> I didn't worry. <laughs> get away. She got to so, come back home. Get away. For the black women. I know a girl who has a white husband. And I be wondering, like when there's a fine nigga around, I'm like, you miss it, don't you? <laughs> if I was white, I'd be scared if my if my if my girl was black and she been. I'm gonna take her around a bunch of niggas. <laughs> we going to function with less niggas. We're, we're going, going to Vermont. To the white, bitch. Yes, we going to the we're white spots. That would no, be the best of the yeah. Yeah. But you know what? My that that same person, that acquaintance that's married to a white man, once told me. Mm. She once told me that you know. <laughs> Also, I'll, this is a disclaimer. We are from the Valley in LA, okay. which is the black men love others. It's like a rarity to, <laughs> to like black, black men liking black women. Okay. And she wants to, and so it's probably had an effect on her because she also grew up there. But she was like, when white women come around, I like, I know my, I know my man's not looking. Like, I know he's like good. She was like, when I was dating black guys and a white bitch would come around, I, I, I immediately was knowing, he, knowing he was checking for her. Mm. Man, that's and crazy. I was like, what the fuck? The fact that she feels so secure in her relationship for this reason is like, damn. Like, it's as damaging. a black woman who grew up in the valley, I've never had these feelings. 
Uh, I've never had these feelings. I don't generally. Well, I don't wait. Really date maybe in high school because I was always the one of only, like like I was only like one black girl in my class. It was like me and another girl. We both were mixed, so it was like. Then there was just a bunch of black guys. I'm gonna be like six or seven black guys, and then the rest were white guys. So and white girls. I I I, grew, I had like a high school like boyfriend my whole high school who was black. You know what I'm saying? There was there there's a rare amount of black guys. But when I moved to Atlanta, I went to Clark, and niggas were like, "What's that?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Yeah. I was like, yeah. "You talking to me?" Yeah. I, I got used to going out with my white girlfriends and black and niggas not talking to me. Yeah, yeah. me too. That was, and, and, but the white but guy. But when we see y'all with a group of white girls, I be like, "Do she need help?" Like seriously, <laughs> save her. Because I, I had this How happened to me a lot, and I'm like. She cute as shit, but like I wouldn't All even go up to her. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, you good, sis? Like, I don't know. That's like the norm. I guess that's so true. I did we, get we very used to going people. out with my girlfriends in high school, knowing that like I was my the scope of what was gonna find me attractive was extremely limited. So if I saw another black guy at a party, I was like, okay, that's my guy. Everyone else is oh, kind yeah, of yeah, everyone yeah, else is kind it. of not is off boundaries for me. But also like going out and the like the because we started going to clubs really early because we we're fucking grown as fuck. But I remember like slash not not grown, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But like black guys would be like move past me, like excuse me. Like I I was like if a black guy came and talked to me, I'd be like, are you talking to me? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I would be very. But the white guy, the white guy in the black party was gonna find me and holler. Mm. Yeah, we from we from Philly. It's, it it's ain't different. None, ain't none of that. It's yeah. all all of us being the same shit, like same. For, well, I same went to school with white, some white people, but it was, it was no white girls in my neighborhood and nothing like that. So, mm. I don't really know about that type of shit. Hmm. It's, it's just tough. like what you're exposed to. Well, no, because we grew, grew up in white spaces and we like niggas. <laughs> True. No, I, it just it wasn't like nowhere near me. Like I used people be like, I'm from South Philly. They look at it as like Italian and like the stadiums, yeah. but that's one part. Okay. I didn't agree because look, look at you. See, here, he do this because I'm trying to tell niggas with my neighborhood. I didn't, I didn't know nobody white until I went to school. Like, right. I knew like oh, you went all the way to Vermont. You went right in. Yeah, I went straight. I went. You mean? Here and I had, the, I had like the exact opposite. He went. Straight. I went to HBCU and I went to Atlanta and I was like, I was out the window of the plane. Like, oh my god, everybody's black, even the workers. Like, I saw, I saw black people have jobs. I never saw them have those jobs. Yeah. And, like, and that's like stuff like gardeners, fast food workers. Like every everybody was black. Where in LA, there were certain people that did certain things, or you had to go to a certain area to see those to see people. That, yeah. mm-hmm. So when I was like so happy, and then but it took even for me time to like to like adjust. I was like. Everybody's outside dancing and shit, and I don't even know why. I you don't know realize what they're doing. you said you realized you was fine though. Like you Not, was like, I don't know. I'm really, I I'm they, really they were like it. playing loud music. I was like, why? Are they, what are they doing out there? <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't normal. <laughs> but I also was like, I'm kind of fine. I was like, the niggas are hollering, and I was like, I'm never coming back, bitches. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was but it never made me insecure five. because I wasn't. I, I like if you don't want me, I don't want you, nigga. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have any other like shallow confessions? Um. <sighs> Well, we are with good moms. Um, yeah, I, me and Larry, I, I know our our uh, manager kind of put it in the notes about like us liking women with kids. <laughs> and I ain't even going to hold you. It's really eternal in there. And I think it's something wrong with me a little bit. Like now, I like watching women take care of their kids a little bit. Like I like watching you moms want? be moms. It's because yeah, you're almost 30. Like, mom's momming picture their cards. Sh- what? Do it. Oh, my God. I was, I was coming Talk out of work like one day. Huh. I seen this one um, lady. She was taking care of her daughter and her son. Same time. Same time. Because yeah, I'm it. like, it. you better take care of them kids, yeah. girl. Okay. Like, I don't Look at her know. multitasking, like, feeding, feeding people. Look at her taking care of no, them kids. She I, was trying to get them across the street. She had cupped the back of the young boy head. <laughs> you just like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, did, so, did you go help her? Huh? Did you go help her? I'm not about to step in. I watched from afar. She cut the young boy head and had the door to the head and was pushing him while she was dragging it. I said, yo, you, yeah. you better fight. I like when they be on FaceTime and you can hear them like, mommy, go sit down. The food, yeah. the food is coming out there and you like, yeah. damn, like you really, Ooh. how you doing all this and on the phone? Like, <laughs> you really, I get real quiet on FaceTime. I'm real quiet. I'm like, like they like, you there? I'm like, yeah, I was just. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I, was, I was just getting an erection here and you nurture other people. <laughs> yes. No, that's really fly as shit though. Like, I don't got no kids. I wouldn't even know what to do when I'm little. You mean like if I, I'm, you mean I'm trying to take care you of myself, that shit hard. Yeah. Do you you know what to do with one of them little niggas? One of them little niggas, man. Do you like, want it? No, I'm just kidding. Do you guys want kids? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Oh, do you, shit. do you guys want to be married? I do. Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I want to go back because <laughs> I'm not done with this topic. So you are attracted to moms, but yes. will you actually wife a mom? Yes. Like you actually want to be with a mom? Would you with be a, a stepdaddy? Kid? Yeah. Like I would is be that a, attractive to you? Yes. Yeah. Huh. I think it is. It depends on how many kids, though. <laughs> That's a fair <laughs> answer. Like, how many is your max? Yeah. Two. Two. Two is so. Two's fine. Okay. Two's okay. Three kind of crazy. I mean, listen, I feel it, though. she she. You never bad. know who you love. Three, you love three who you is love. It. Yeah. Three is solid. Three cool. Okay. You know how people say love who you love for interracial. I'm gonna start saying for baby mamas. Like <laughs> you love who you love. Love we, who you love. This week we we met this woman who um, met her newest husband when she was eight months pregnant. Yeah. Oh. So she she was out fi- the night she finalized her divorce. She was at dinner, and this man, this chef who was cooking at the restaurant, I must have known one of her employees. But she found out she was pregnant after she was, she decided to get a divorce and yeah. kept it. Oh. So mm. my question is, could you date a pregnant woman? I want to fuck a pregnant woman. I'm not, date? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Like it. But I would like to have sex with a yeah, pregnant I want to try. But, but it. <laughs> they're not just walking around like. What is, the myth, yeah. what is the myth of pregnant? Not that they're not walking around freely yeah, like they're they in the zoo at? in captivity. Yeah, they're they not don't in be the out. Like, they don't be outside. They don't be out. They be pregnant. Are pregnant? They don't they be, be out. Pregnant, sure. pregnant people do go outside. I see them. Where they be at? Dinner. Why do you want to fuck a pregnant person? Like the myth of pregnant person. I was in the club when I was pregnant. The myths of pregnant pussy, or what is the? Because because porn ruined my brain for real, for real. So you watch pregnant porn? I seen it when I when I was about twenty three to twenty four. I went through a a year just like damn. Let me see what some pregnant shit. But right it got to be your Not baby that's year. pregnant, or a, just any bitch that's pregnant. It was just anybody on the screen. Is it? Is oh, it, it don't got to be my baby. Is it an ego <laughs> thing too? No, I just want. I, I'm, I've heard rumors. I want to try it. What's the rumors that you heard? That it be that it be doing what it do. You know what I mean, right? That's a lot. <laughs> the chop chop be you be chop chopping down there. You I said don't a know. lot. I just want to try it. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know why I want to do it. <laughs> I just know that she's pregnant and I want to do it. I want to just, I want to try pregnant sex. But I mean, preferably with my baby mom. Mm-hmm. So, you I don't are, know. I just want to let you know your TikTok DMs are about to go crazy with pregnant oh, bitches. Uh, if, your TikTok, get, if your TikTok DMs, the other TikTok DMs. It's not DM, TikTok DMs. Uh, okay, I'm just letting like you know right DMs now. On TikTok? I don't yeah, know. TikTok is, was though. the first thing to pop. It was the Instagram. Okay, okay. Wherever, is, the DMs. Okay, if your DMs fine. start popping with pregnant women, please, can we add, I want can you to text me and too? tell me. Can we, yeah. add little, can we add little women too? To just put it in the universe. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No, that's, that's a you Who thing. wants a little woman? That's not weed. You want a little woman? I want y'all a little woman here. Cause, it, cause did you do? Did you spend a year searching that on porn? No, that's probably like a couple months. It's because you want to like throw throw them around, pick them up. Like it's fun size. I, I don't even see little people out in public. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's they be I, they're around. also in captivity. Where? They be around. Where? Where you in Philly? Do you they see little people also have captive <laughs> somewhere where little people are? I gotta walk downtown. Like <laughs> I literally. I'm gonna see. I'm putting in the universe. Yeah. No, they're they're just exactly where the pregnant people are away. <laughs> the pregnant people and the little people are just same spot over. What about a pregnant little? You know? Okay. Okay. Did you know a pregnant little on. person can have a full size baby? Yeah, I do know that. Like their and belly is full size? No, they're no. their baby. <laughs> <laughs> a nine small person. I was eleven pounds, so <laughs> yeah, imagine a little person Don't carrying around. Don't lead with that. Pounds. Don't oh. lead with that with your wife. <laughs> I know it's bad because my mom 11. is a twin too. So uh, like it skips generations. So I could have twins. Oh shit! And it could be eleven pounds. My boyfriend's mom is a twin. That's real nigga shit. Also, this is a public service announcement. Maybe you guys knew this already, but I just found out. If you are over 35 and you're a black woman, the likelihood of you having twins is like the highest of any race. Oh. And it goes up when you're older. What? Doubling yeah. up? It goes, goes up. I don't know if it doubles. I didn't say that, but it go, it in- increases significantly. I'm just saying doubling up humans goes oh, up. Oh, yeah. No, doubling yeah. up humans goes up when you're black and you're over 35. And my boyfriend, mom, is a twin. Come on. I, I have the twin gene. My mom was a twin. Oh really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it didn't go through. Didn't follow stuff. through. Yeah. That's so interesting, mm-hmm. huh? So it skips her and goes to me. Apparently, right? I Is wonder. Skip a generation. Yeah, it skips a generation. I wonder if she feels like there's like she's she lot like there's a disconnect from someone that she didn't know before. I always, like you know they say like that's a good question. Twins are like magically like one person, but they split. Maybe, but my mom also has a sibling that she doesn't know because my grandma gave birth like on the low. Before she was born, and like Triplets? gave the baby. Up. So did my grandma. My grandmother oh. gave a child up for adoption, and, and when she was young, because that was the norm. If mm-hmm. you weren't married or you were young, you which is up. like so much trauma. And then she gave. Like she like went away for a while and then came, came back. What is that? What, you know what? If anybody's listening and wondering why we tell all our business to the internet, is because there came the generation not that far behind us couldn't say shit and was really experiencing trauma solo dolo because it, it was them. normal. And so if if I'm talking shit all the time, so honestly. 
It's my right. This was your journey of truth, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it for your ancestors. I'm doing it for my ancestors. Yeah, this is what I do it for. Ida B. Wells, this is for you. This was for my ancestors. I talked about sucking dick on the internet. Because you couldn't. I'm going to tell you all about what I did last night. That's a fact. I'm the only weirdo without a twin anything on this couch. Yeah. That's not a weirdo. That's that's If I have two at first, I'm that's that's where we're gonna stop. (laughs) Knock them out the park, knock them out the box. Yeah. Would you? So, if you've dated children, I mean women, Whoa. not children. <laughs> All right now. Relax, All right now. Relax. Slow it. Let's talk down. Moms before. Okay. Like, is there like a? Do you think that there's any sort of protocol or things that a man should do or or take into consideration when dating yes. a mom? Her time. Baby dads. Oh. oh. Both of those. <laughs> yep. Her Both time. of those. I asked, is your baby dad in jail or is he dead? Is he dead or in jail? Okay, what, what, if just, what if he's just? What if he's just a prefer? <laughs> no, I don't he like. He can't this. just be normal. <laughs> God, this is well, some Philly from, shit. I've, if I ever heard from it, from all like, experiences I had, shit. none of them niggas was Thorough. solid. So it's yeah. like you feel me. So I'm like, is he dead or is he in jail? Like you mean so? And then if, the if they're answer, living, what happens then? And not What's in next jail. After that question, <laughs> so then ex, what? Is anybody? Is he looking for you? Like you mean? Is he looking like, for you? Is he in the child's life? Like you kidnap or like? Niggas are crazy. Like how about just like is your? Are you guys cool? Or do you guys have a like Are y'all a good? Co- I leave with the bad ones. Do you co parent? Maybe that's step one. Yeah, maybe I can ask you. Do you guys have a good sure. relationship? Does he pick up the kids or is he not involved? But do you you can kind of tell though. How long ago did you guys break up? You could kind of tell by how she look at the phone when he called. You feel what I'm saying? You could kind of gauge him. You know. Then you ask yeah. questions like, <laughs> Yeah. Have you have you go your answer and she like, No, no, no. You I'm ever not. been on a date like, with a shorty and, and she get a phone call from her baby dad? If she got to step out, yeah, like, then you already know. You know they're fucking. Well, I mean, they, 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 they step it's, out it's to take phone calls in general. Well, I think, nah, I, well, I she, think, I think also women we don't want to bother. We don't want to like. We don't. We we've been taught that we almost are less appealing moms because we have this baggage, whether that's the child, obviously, or this other person that we are always connected to. So mm-hmm. sometimes we don't want to take the call in front of you, almost as a reminder of like, oh hey, yeah, I have, mom, I have this, this other, other nigga, nigga that I always have to talk to. Hold yeah. on, let me go step outside. <laughs> that's a fact. You know, like there is that. Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah. It's not always but like you still, some we still shady know shit. that you, when you left, you still still talking to. Her? That's the, true. The feeling it's, don't it's leave. Not, it's it's the not same a feeling. good solution to yeah. whatever it is. Really, women should feel less ashamed and just take the call. Yeah, just right? take it right here. Like, what that nigga got to say that I can't hear? Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, that that was, that's I was suspicious. I was on a date and a girl like we was in the car. We was talking, and he called and She got out the car, closed the door, and then she just started cursing this nigga. The fuck <laughs> out, yo! Every single word in the book. We was just we was in some neighborhood, and I'm just looking at her like through the window, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck That's, the shit out of her. You said this my. You said I'm gonna fuck the shit out of her. her. Yeah, I thought you were like, yeah, this is toxic. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was gonna say this is my future. No, nah, it was I, <laughs> a little thing. bit. It was a little bit like that. Like, damn, that's kind of sexy a little bit. I don't know why. It was. Oh, you, I, I thought, but, I thought you wanted to fuck the shit out of her because you want to, like, you know, make her feel better. Like, don't worry, baby, I got you. Yeah. No, yeah. That, was that it too? Yep. Okay. Yeah, my whole yeah. It's that. Yeah. It's that. It's that, guys. No, niggas be, it's, niggas it's be wild, that. though. He keeps, his, his pitch keeps going up when he's lying. It's yeah. Like, yeah I love hearing sad. women talk. Hey, yo. I love hearing women talk so much. bro. No, niggas be crazy. You got to ask, like, is a nigga looking for you? Niggas is wild. Niggas is not. Listen, I ain't going to speak too much, but niggas is do shit. I really encourage you guys to relocate outside of Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. Men are weird. I yeah. had one girl, she had her baby dad, like, um, get somebody else to call my phone and basically start some shit with, like, me and the girl. That was, that was crazy. Like, that was so wait, crazy. Wait, 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 what? Her baby dad had somebody. Oh, call your phone call to make it seem like a bitch was a calling woman. you. Yeah. How did he get your number? From her phone. From her phone. Because they're on the same phone plan. Mm. So he had a woman call my phone and say, yo, like, you dating my friend. I just want to let you know, like, her and her baby dad still, da, da, da. Like, yeah. So I called her and I was like, your friend just called me. And she was like, my friend don't even know. Mm. None of my friends even know. Like, like how would one of my friends have yeah, your number? No, but yeah. They don't even know who you Why are. Well, I, said that, I said that immediately. I was like, that's her baby dad. Like, I said yeah. to him, like, that's her baby dad, bro. Because niggas get desperate that's to start doing weird shit. shit. That's a, let's, you've, went, you've gone through an extensive amount of steps to have a bitch call the nigga Crazy. I'm dating. You, look, had you had to highlight it on the bill. Though. Yeah, I you guess had to it, find a female. You gotta go to print that out. Like, yeah, you gotta yeah, print that yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta print it out. Like, it's a small. I don't even know where my phone bill is. I don't even know what they're charging me for. Bitches are crazy. They so, are. <clears throat> well, hey, that was a guy who did that. Oh, niggas are crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, he to get the girl to do the girl, it. The girl she crazy, be crazy too. too. Yeah, yeah right. that probably was his sister. Crazy. He probably, she probably, he probably like says, please, I give you five dollars. Please make this call, sis. Like, what's the craziest shit you ever did 
to be spiteful or like sneaky in a relationship? Hmm. <laughs> it's got to be something there. Yeah. I know I probably did something. Go ahead. I don't know. I, I, people I'll be fucking with support y'all. They love y'all. Go ahead, bro. Who, like, women? Yeah. <laughs> So you're afraid to say it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm fucking in my audience, They'd be bitch. like, I love them. I'm, oh I'm gosh, famous shit. on TikTok. I'm getting pussy. You think I'm going to be telling them I'm talking shit? They'd be like, I love them. I love them so much. I'm um, like, ah, uh, you know. Maybe damn. breaks. Maybe take breaks. Take what? Maybe you get some break. break. Maybe get some break pussy. Oh, like, uh, oh, I'm going to take a break. You, you being an asshole so you can fuck somebody else? You start yeah. a whole fight just so you can get some break pussy? The fight was already there. I ain't started. I just, you just said, you know, I'm I kicked it off the edge. You mean, I kicked the fight off the edge. You feel me? Spiteful? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I don't I don't think I ever did anything like spiteful. I can't read that. That's very small. <laughs> I don't think I did anything like to get them. Yeah, I don't know about no spiteful shit. I don't think I ever did anything spiteful, y'all. Oh, well, y'all are a goddamn I lie. I didn't For do real. anything spiteful, but I do tell this one uh, story all the time about how I um, broke up with my ex. And I, I cooked her like dinner just to break up with her. He broke up with his, bitch. The most spiteful shit is he broke up with his ex because he got TikTok famous, bitch. That's yeah, the answer. I mean, I guess that's, the fuck yeah, that's that's the answer. might be it. Honestly, that the really TikTok might be it. the TikTok part is just making it even funnier. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, really, it's not. But I like this. I like TikTok famous. Let's TikTok do that famous one. is crazy. But yes, it's the, it was that at first. So that's we have a, we have a segment on our show we call horror stories and horror stories. Yes, horries, horries, where we ask okay. our guests to share a highly horrific tale. Oh. Um, it could be funny, it could be spooky, it could be just level ten nasty. Um, do you, do either one of you have any recent recent or or oh, okay. more recent. Recent, real okay. recent or distant <laughs> horror stories that you can share? <laughs> Boy, do they support y'all? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess, don't they listen to your show? Nigga? No, fuck no. I hope not. Well, they but will now. I think like maybe <laughs> I was being nasty one night. I called. I fucked on an air mattress. I'm not proud Come on, at man. all. I'm not I used to have just a mattress on the floor. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get a mattress on the floor type beat. It is what it it's is. It's a fact. Yeah. At least you got a mattress. No, just a no sheet on that, John. No sheet. That's yeah. a that's, no why, sheet. that's why that's why that's I don't not, believe Twitter. That's, not, that's why I don't believe Twitter when they be like, "It's mat- mattress on the floor." I'm not fucking that nigga. When I was 24, I moved. Had a mattress on the floor with a desk, nothing else, just vibes. You feel me? Oh, <laughs> a it's candle. So, a candle. Yo, a candle. <laughs> a candle and some Netflix. That candle was everything. That you candle was everything. Candle was said, everything. Let me go ahead and like this teak word real quick, baby. I <laughs> got you. Bitches will settle. A lot of bitches too. They walk in and they be like, "Damn, this is not what I signed up for." That's because they don't have a house. But then they feel bad. They feel bad. <laughs> They don't so they'll just do it. Who the bitches are you fucking without a house? If they live with these folks, they like this nigga got a roof by itself. That could be as loud as I want. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they like get excited like, for that where they don't have to be quiet and their parents. Won't yeah, you get to scream as loud as you want in this mattress. If you're 18, he's like, oh, he's rich. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> you got your own rent, no roommates. Okay. Yeah, see, there's no room. Yeah, there's no roommates to get you some. You guys, thank you so much. This Word. has been quite a fucking pleasure. Absolutely. Wait, before we get out of here, we also ask our guests to share an affirmation. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have an affirmation you can share with our audience? Affirmation? What is that? Do you know what that is? Yeah, I know what that is. Like, kind of. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying I'm, to insult Honestly, you. there's a lot of affirmations, right? You will be great one day in life. <laughs> Oh, is that what it is? You yeah, will be great so like, one day in life. Yeah. Now that you asked me, did I know what an affirmation <laughs> was? I'm trying to figure out if I know what that is now. You don't know you, what it is. Now you've tested him. Just be nice. Just say uh, something nice. Just something like sweet. Oh, to yourself. Um, nice. Call you. for yourself. Oh. Oh. An affirmation is something that you say to yourself <laughs> that <laughs> affirms something. Like, damn, okay. bitch, you look good. Oh. You're a bad bitch. You're fine. Okay. Everything oh. that you want comes okay. to you easily and with ease. Oh, you're going you gonna to sell more tickets to this fucking Chicago show on May 11th? Bro, right. you're going to do great. You feel me? That's Jeez. my affirmation. Okay. You have a great fucking show. It don't be nervous like you always be. I don't know why you be nervous. I'm talking to myself. You feel me? So, at Chicago, that's my affirmation. But so isn't it chicken. fun when you're nervous and then you do no. it anyway? No, no. Yeah. Is this your first show? No. no. Exactly. So, isn't it fun? You're so nervous and then you're up there and then you're like, and then it yeah, and then you kill it. And then you kill it. And you're like, and there's adrenaline and everybody loves you. And and you yeah. get so many bitches in your DMs. Well. Yeah, my blood be boiling yeah, before okay. I just take that last step on that stage. No, it's, it's all good. it's all fun. Like yeah. the week leading up to it, I'll be nervous, but then after that, I'm like, cool. Yeah. Well, well I, I affirm that you guys are gonna have a successful show, successful thank you. career. Thank you. But can you do one that's like more general? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, no. That, that one was a good. One. That was like a manifestation. I'll do one. Oh, is that a manifestation? That was a manifestation. Um, We're going to sell these tickets. I don't know what tickets. affirmation is. We will, it's one for everyone. Will, for everyone. Right, for, for everyone, everyone listening. Yeah, you will. You want to do a live? A, yeah, absolutely. You will um, live a great life and make a lot of money this week. I oh. will live. A, I will live a great life and make a lot of money this oh, week. Oh, come on! You will let go of that person that you've been holding on to that doesn't really serve you. I. I will let, let go, go of that person that. Uh, doesn't really S- serve me. That doesn't, doesn't really, really serve me. me. Yes. Amen. Th- Amen. Because I know my worth, and I know I'm famous on the internet. TikTok. Come on, and if TikTok. If you're not famous, famous on the internet, <laughs> you what go. the fuck are you? You can't come. <laughs> yeah. If you're nice. not fake famous. You're not, you you're can't not famous. Come. <laughs> what are you doing? So can you imagine? Like, so how many followers do you have? <laughs> you only got two. Have you, have you That's get- a real. Thing that happened. Have you ever had somebody like, give you their phone and be like, "Oh my god, wow, you have a lot of followers." They like respect you more. Yeah, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's weird as shit. <sighs> anyway, y'all, y'all, um, thank you for listening. Make yeah. sure you go rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Lionel and Lurk, can you please tell the people where they can find you? Learn line after you buy that book right here first. You that's, know, on the that's table. number one. Step one. Honestly, buy that book. That's number fucking and, one. And uh, we everywhere at Lurk and Lionel on the internet. YouTube, L E R A N D. L I O N E O everywhere on yep. everything. Yep. Yeah. Boom. That's it. Go to show. Go to their show in Chicago. Go to their and go to their TikTok guys. and go to their TikTok. I'm going on your TikTok immediately, and I plan on asking. <laughs> We're going to get your you DM. guys. I was going to ask to see your DMs after this because I want to see what's happening over there. Um, it's insane. If you guys know where to find us, <laughs> not it's insane. It goes crazy. <laughs> Good no. moms, bad choices on all platforms. Make sure make sure you check out our retreat. It's coming up in July, Mexico. We have two days: July 5th, July 12th. Um, it's women's only. It's bomb. It's amazing. You won't regret it. If you need friends, bring your ass. Make some. Stop making excuses. What else? I don't know, girl. I'm drunk. Buy our book, A Good Mom's Guide to Making Bad Choices, available on all platforms. You can listen to it on Audible as well. And check us out on Patreon to hear the uncensored version of this episode. It is patreon.com backslash goodmomsbadchoices. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.